G'day guys. Hey guys, Cam McClellan. Carl Lewis and welcome to today's Wealth Ward. Holiday homes. I just got back from Noosa. Al's just been away at the beach uh, with his family and like I always do when I'm wandering around on holidays, I go to the real estate agent office. Literally like a vortex sucks me in there, you know, strolling up the street with your coffee. Do you this one? The kids in tow. Min mincing. Mincing up the street there. Um, real estate agent office is there and I get sucked in and that's what happened in Noosa. I didn't buy a property though, so, and probably want to explain to you why. It's what exciting we, though, the thought of it's great, isn't it? Exciting, especially when you're on holidays, and even this time, for, I got sucked in over Christmas, going to buy one down in the morning to Peninsula. I probably will one day, but um, while we're up there, Felicity's looking at the prices in, the, in uh, you know, some of the properties in Noosa. She goes, oh, this would be a nice place to have a holiday house. Yes, it would. But what would the repayments be, Al? Because, I mean, to get anything, even a two-bedroom apartment in a good location there, you're looking at two and a half mil plus. What's the repayments on that per year? 100 grand? 125, yeah, 5%. 125 grand. Um, it's a pretty good holiday. holiday. It's a pretty big holiday. How many years can I rent out? We spent a thousand bucks a night, so six grand or whatever it was, or ten grand or whatever it was for a holiday. That's a lot of years of holidays. So if I spent ten grand a year going there on holiday as opposed to 125, 125 grand in interest repayments. Plus yeah. you get there. Plus you get there. I mean, yes, I've got, I'll get some uh, rent back on the property through the year, but what we look at as investors is consistency. Yeah. Yeah, I, I play the odds. So I play where there's population, where there's a market that's sustainable, and where there's a market that will be durable and robust in hard times. That's the market I want to be in. So if I look at a holiday rental cam, which maybe you should have bought that one, but my concern would be the minute the market goes bad, the first thing to go is right. holiday properties. Um, what was 07? So the Sunshine Coast was the most expensive, so I think the second most expensive second most property top. as opposed to income. In the world. In the world. So we've got some seriously expensive property on our Sunshine Coast. Um, other parts of Australia have got some seriously expensive properties when it comes to coastal locations. Um, what's the first thing that happens when a downturn in any economy happens is the first thing people sell is their holiday home. Yep. And the first thing people stop doing is going away on holidays. So um, use the Sunshine Coast as a classic example. I know one major resort up there which had, and this is in what was it, oh, start of 09, I think it was? Yeah, oh, I don't know, yep. Yeah, had, uh, on the Sunshine Coast, had a projector screen up, and all the local real estate agents went there, and they had their little PowerPoint presentation, and they were doing auctions on, here's a $4 million property going for $1.2 million. Going once. <laughs> here's an $8 million property going for $5 million. Going twice. <laughs> and obviously, people with cash really cashed in. People owning those holiday homes uh, had spent a huge amount of money and were doing some serious dough. Also during those times, people weren't going and renting those properties, and that's the reason people had to get rid of them. The rent wasn't coming in, so they had to either fund them or sell them, and that's probably the issue. So, not a safe investment. Now, just comes reminding me of something. Um, shows that I'm maybe leading my kids astray. Um, I was in the backyard, don't know what I was doing, but my daughter's on the swings, not near me, but down there in the yard. All of a sudden, she starts saying to herself, I don't know, a thousand months, a thousand twice. So, what are you doing? She goes, uh, what? <laughs> clearly, clearly I'm taking her to the wrong place because she's <laughs> you started to be influenced by auctioneers. <laughs> You've been going to way too many auctions. Oh, I don't know, it's a good one. But... There was one across the road from the old joint and one down the road. <laughs> <laughs> so, Emmy's loving an auction. There you go, there you go. Have a good day. Keep your kids away from auctions.